It's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And now, here's your host, Regis Philbin. What's going on here? What's going on? Cut that music off. I don't need music. Cut the music off. Cut it off. I don't need music. I'll be my own music. Ba, 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 ba. See, I'll be the music. I don't need music. My name is Regis Philbin. That's a, with a PH, not an F. The PH is sexy. I like the PH. You cut the music off. Why is the music still playing? I'll be the music. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. I'm the music. I'll be the music. I don't need music. Huh. Anyway, what is this? Oh, these are my cues. Huh. Okay. Anyway, don't make fun of me. If you make fun of me, I'll rip all your teeth out. I'll make sure the tooth fairy doesn't come to your house. Me and her are tight. We're like this. We're like this. We're not like this. We're not like this. We're like this. We're tight. You're probably wondering why I have a monkey. Well, I don't know why. Some people say I look like a monkey, so I can have a monkey. You know, he eats bananas. Anyway, say hi to Bubble. Be all, be all. Anyway, today, here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, we have our celebrity tournament. Today, we have the superstar of the cinema, Nicolas Cage. He doesn't live in a cage, not like a bird. This is this sometimes lives in a cage. When you go to the zoo, it's in a cage. But he's Nicholas, not Nichols, in a cage, just Nicolas Cage. Anyway, we've been doing all sorts of things with our uh, celebrity tournament. And uh, yesterday, John Travolta won a million dollars. That's bananas! <laughs> I, I kill myself. I, I don't know how I do it. <laughs> I can't, maybe it's the coffee I drink. <laughs> it could be my coffee. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I kill myself. <laughs> what else is on my cue paper here? It comes all the way. Uh, okay. I guess I'll go ahead and welcome our first celebrity guest of the day. He comes all the way from Brooklyn, which is funny because we take the show here in New York City and, and uh, they're not that far apart and I said Brooklyn because I'm stupid. I'm stupid, you're stupid, Regis. <laughs> Get on with it, anyway. Please welcome our first celebrity guest in the Who Wants to be a millionaire tournament. Please welcome Nicholas Cage. Come on, Nick. Uh, cut the music off. We don't need music. I'm the music, I'm the music, I don't need music, I'm the music, ba 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 I'm the music, we don't need music, I'll be the music, I make my own music, ba 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 Regis. Yeah, what is it, Nick? Thank you for the introduction. Well, Nick, no problem. Thank you for coming all the way out here to be a part of our show. It's not that long of a drive, Regis. It's a great honor to have you. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you will be awarded an amount of money for each question. Are you ready? Yes, Reed. Okay, here we go. First question. In the 2006 animated film, Cars, which of the following is a character name from that film? Is it A, Rosie O'Donnell, B, Maya, C, My Sister, or D, World Trade Center, which is the crappiest movie you've ever done? You have 30 seconds. Uh, Time's ticking. Uh, Come on, Nick. You're bubbling, stuttering, full. Come on, Nick, you can get it. I'm not sure about A. I'm gonna go with B. B is me. Yeah. yeah. Is that your final answer? Uh, that's my final. Answer. My hair is dripping juice and everything. Kelly, I told you to make my hair good. Why didn't you put the juice in my hair? I'm gonna done. Anyway, B, Mia, that's your final answer. Yeah. Is that your final answer? You, you know, you, well, you chose B and you came all this way out here and, 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 and it's just, it's, it's a shame you have to come all the way out here and choose Regis. B because that's your, that's your final answer and you Regis. came all the way out here because you got $10,000, that's your final answer. Mm, I'll make out with you. We have six in the back room, maybe later. Anyway. Okay, you're really weird, Regis. I'll tell you what's weird, Nick. When I saw you in Face Off, my face literally fell off. <laughs> Do you drink coffee, Nick? I drink lots of coffee. You know, one time I interviewed a guy who wrote a coffee table book about coffee tables. <laughs> anyway, here's your next question. Are you ready, Nick? Yes, I'm ready. Say hello to Bobo. Hi, Bobo. This is my pet monkey. The Hi. fact that you got that question right, you know what I think of that? It's bananas. That's what it is. <laughs> you see, I made a pun. <laughs> I, I'm pun because I'm punny. Because I'm just filled with a pH. Not an F. The pH is sexy. I like the pH. Anyway. I think we got it. Okay. Let's proceed. I will. Here's your next question. Which of the following Elvis Presley movies was made in the year of 1965? 
is it A, spin out? B, harem scarum? C, um, jailhouse rock? Or D, love me tender? Uh, Are you an Elvis fan, Nick? Uh, yes, I'm a very big Elvis fan. Okay, because you even did that movie Honeymoon in Vegas and it involved you being an Elvis impersonator. So you should know this, Nick. It should be on the top of your head. You just spit all over me. If you don't get this right, I will make sure Bobo flings a turd right in your mouth. Uh, can I phone a friend? Uh, we no longer have that lifeline because it sucks. But here's what I'm gonna do. I will eliminate two of the answers. Oh, 50. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Cut that music off! We don't need music! ka -ching! There. Two of the answers are now eliminated. It is down to Harem Scarum or Jailhouse Rock. Sure, it's not jailhouse job. I'm gonna have to go with harem scare. Harem scare him. Because the question was, which of the following Elvis Presley bullies I, I, was I, made I, in 1965? I heard the question. The choices were narrowed down to because you chose to use the 50-50. Harem scare him or jailhouse rock. Your choice was jailhouse rock. Is that your final answer? No, it was harem scare him. It was harem scare him. Okay. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. Are you sure? Yes. Because you know you could walk away right now. You have $10,000 right now in your bank. You can walk away right now with all of it. Uh, no. You're going to risk it. Yes. You still, But you still also have a few lifelines, so that's cool. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Harem Scarum is your final answer. Yes. Are you sure? Because you know you came all this you way. Know, Regis, it, I'm sure. That's my Are final. you sure, Nick? Regis. Are you sure Nicholas Cage, star of the new independent film Stolen, which is now out on Redbox? Regis, I'm sure. You're sure? It's also out on Netflix, by the way. The answer you chose, can I ask you a question? Why do you talk like your life's gonna end? You, you're, you're making all these movies and you're a movie star, you've gotten to work with all these hot actresses and you're a movie star, you talk like your life's gonna end. If anyone likes to be ending, it should be me, because they got rid of Kelly. Now who am I gonna interrupt and be rude to on the show? Ha, ha. Because death is around every corner, you have to talk like your life is gonna end. Well, that is deep and I have no idea what the hell you just said, because I just popped a bunch of acid back in the bathroom before I got on this show. Anyway. The answer you chose was harem scarum. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but you got it right for twelve thousand dollars. Yes, you did. All right, all right. Yes, I'm gonna get with you now. Come on, have sex with you in the back room later. I'm not gay. Neither am I. I just love kissing people. Anyway, you are at twelve thousand dollars now. All right. Here is your final question. If you get this wrong, you go home with nothing. This was a complete waste. You, if you get this wrong, you have failed conclusively in the game show business and you will never be respected as an actor again. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Are you positive? I am positive. Okay. Here's your next question. For $20,000, the weights in a bulletproof vest. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Bobo, you idiot! Ow, don't slap me! Ow! Ah! I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I wrote a wrong question. That was for another night. True or false? The weights in a bulletproof vest only are good for two years. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. Wait, I thought this game show was multiple choice. It's true or false? Not that hard, Nick. Uh, it's a 50 50 shot. Oh, let's see if it's right. How are you, Nick? How's your day going so far? Uh, let's go. Are you enjoying being here on the show? I know I've enjoyed being here on the show, because my name is Regis Philbin, with a PH, not an F. Okay, the answer you chose was Chew. True. Chew, Chew. Like a train. Chew, Chew, Chew. Anyway. Yes, I chose True. Okay, well, um, I'm afraid to say this, you know, that you chose uh, True, you know, you know, we don't even you know what to say. Okay, already. well, well, it turns out, it was false! You got it wrong, you have failed, you idiots! They're only good for three years, not two years. Ha ha! So sorry. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for Celebrity Millionaire Tournament here on The Game Show. I'm Regis Philbin, that's with a PH, not an F. This was Nicholas Cage. He failed conclusively. You got it? Conclusively. And by the way, Nick, you know you're playing for charity, right? None of the money goes to you. I'm out of here. I just got a call to guest star on an episode of How I Met Your Mother. I'm gone. Oh. Cut the music off. I don't need music. Why do we have music going? <laughs>